Well, Indonesia has accomplished many infrastructure milestones from expansion of digital infrastructure to supporting the growing digital economy and to the groundbreaking construction of the new capital city, Nusantara, that has attracted many investors into the country. Metro Globe Network's Audrey Widodo brings us the top five infrastructure achievements this year in 2022. Bringing you the end of the year infrastructure kaleidoscope for Indonesia, I'm Audrey Widodo, and here are the top five infrastructure achievements in 2022. Number one, Indonesia has commenced the groundbreaking of the capital city Nusantara or Ibu Kota Negara in East Kalimantan. The Indonesian government is financing the new capital city with 20% funds in the state budget and 80% from investments with the total relocation cost estimated to be up to 501 trillion rupiah, about 32 billion US dollars. What makes this new capital city a milestone for Indonesians is that it is aimed to be a super hub with six economic clusters that focuses more on a sustainable ecosystem. From cleaner technology to integrated pharmaceutical industries and sustainable agriculture, as well as ecotourism and health tourism, chemical products and byproducts, and low carbon energy, there are also two supporting clusters, which include the 21st Century Education, as well as the Smart City and Industry 4.0 Center. Between this year and 2024, the initial transfer of the main building infrastructures include the State Palace, the House of Representatives, housing projects for the relocation of public servants, and the construction of basic operational components for the city's 500,000 residents. Bringing it back to the capital city of Jakarta, number two is the Jakarta-Bandung High-Speed Railway. The joint Indonesia-China Kereta Cepat Company has completed the first phase of the high-speed railway, covering 142.3 kilometers of track with eight trains, costing up to 6.7 billion US dollars. What makes this project a leap in travel for Indonesians is that the train travels at 350 kilometers per hour and is able to travel from Jakarta to Bandung, East Java, in 46 minutes, taking up to 109,000 passengers a day. Now, Indonesia is also pushing this digital transition, which is why it's crucial to have a strong foundation for digital infrastructure. With internet penetration and usage growing across the country, it brings me to number three. The launching of three Indonesian satellites to space using the Falcon 6 rocket operated by US company SpaceX to fulfill internet usage and penetration in the country. Indonesian Minister for Communications and Informatics Johnny G. Plate stated that the first satellite, Boeing's hot backup satellite, will be launched next year in May. Then the second will be used to deliver the Satria 1 rocket in June or July. And the third will be the Telkom Sat satellite. The first two satellites launch will be fully operational by the fourth quarter of 2023. Next year, with the hot backup satellite serving 20,000 points of public service facilities throughout Indonesia. Now back on the ground for number four, we have the Palapa Ring Broadband Project that continues to expand its fiber optic cable network across Sumatra, Kalimantan, Sulawesi, Maluku, Papua, Nusa Tenggara, and Bali. By 2025, the Palapa Ring Network aims to cover 78 districts and 14 provinces with a total network length of 11,610 kilometers. With 8,601 kilometers on land and 3,009 kilometers under the sea. And last but not least, one of Indonesia's biggest accomplishments this year is hosting the G20 Summit. And with that comes the outcomes of many infrastructure projects. Bringing me to number five. The large-scale infrastructure and developments in preparation for the G20 Summit on the island of Bali. The Bali Governor Iwayan Kostar stated that the Indonesian state budget allocated 800 billion rupiah, which is over 51 million US dollars, in funds to revitalize the island's Murarai Forest Park facilities, cultural landmarks such as the I Gusti Murarai statue, the Garuda Wisnu Kanchana Cultural Park, as well as the Bali Mandara Toll Road. This also includes road expansion and pedestrian lanes, as well as the VVIP terminal in the I Gusti Murarai International Airport. As you can see, there have been many great achievements and feats that Indonesia has accomplished this year. But you know what? I think this is the first step and only the beginning of Indonesia's infrastructure boom.